you for joining this Microsoft Inspire session on building profitable and secure practices on Azure with Azure Lighthouse and Arc. My name is Chris Bohr and I'm a director in the Global Partner Solutions Organization here at Microsoft. In my role, I'm privileged to work with both our customers and partners, and it's been very interesting over the last couple of years to see how customers and partners are thinking about hybrid. The flow for this session is to start with our customers, discuss how that impacts partners, and then cover at a high level the technologies that can really help customers and partners achieve their hybrid goals and make them real with some actual examples. Finally, we'll cover some takeaways and next steps, so let's start first with what we're hearing from customers. So I was able to attend a recent customer advisory board meeting, which reinforced the same points which we've been hearing from many of our customers all over the world. And I'm sure that you're hearing some of these same fundamental points. Customers want to modernize. So why they may lift and shift to a hyperscale cloud, that is just a step in a multi-step journey where the end goal is to modernize the application. 90% of customers believe their future is a hybrid mix of on-premises, cloud, and edge for their applications. 93% of customers expect to use multiple hyperscale providers, but all customers want to simplify the management, governance, skills, processes, and tools across all of these platforms. They really want to have the cloud experience no matter where the resource actually resides. Our partners equally have to be able to build profitable businesses working across these different platforms, tools, and processes. So as customers have evolved, so have our partners. Some have added practices focusing on cloud while keeping their existing on-premises focused teams. Some have built or bought new tools to support customer requirements. But often this has left partners with siloed teams, struggling to react to new opportunities, dealing with the friction between those teams and groups. Being able to help customers manage and govern hybrid environments can be a challenge. Azure Lighthouse and Arc are transformational technologies that can help our partners build more profitable practices, helping customers in this hybrid world. In this view, our public cloud runs across the top in blue. It provides hyperscale resources under a common management plane, providing governance and security. Lighthouse enables our partners to deliver managed services with greater automation, security, governance, and management at scale. And that's great, but what about all those resources our customers have that still run in their data centers or other clouds for that matter? Arc allows those resources to become part of that consistent management plane to benefit from those Azure services like monitoring, Sentinel. Those resources could be running in Hyper-V, VMware, or Azure Stack HCI. So Arc allows for resources to be brought into Azure Control Plane, but it actually also allows for services that exist in Azure to be brought out of Azure into customers' data centers and anywhere there's an Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes cluster, all managed by Azure with Lighthouse. The technology is amazing, but I wanted to show you some real examples of how partners are using these technologies with their customers. To be able to give you the best possible guidance and insights, I've invited Ali Hussein to join this conversation today. Ali, can you please uh, take a moment and introduce yourself? Yes, uh, thank you, Chris, for having me on and uh, giving me an opportunity to talk about some of these partners that have taken on this hybrid opportunity over the last year or so. My name is Ali Hussein. I am a cloud solution architect on the Global Partner Solutions team. I have been focusing on all things Azure Arc uh, for over the last year or so. Historically, I've concentrated on Azure infrastructure. Thanks for joining me, Ali. Uh, let's jump to our first example. So this example involves a biopharmaceutical company, Ali. Can you describe what the customer situation was here, please? Absolutely. Here we had a customer that had infrastructure on premises as well as in Azure, and uh, they were really struggling with getting visibility into how compliant their infrastructure or environments really were. Uh, they did have a milestone coming up in a HIPAA compliance audit, and they didn't really have any centralized operations to manage all of their hybrid workloads. They had really no experience with policies and controls specific to HIPAA. Early on, they were a little apprehensive of even getting R to be deployed on premises because they thought 
thought that their infrastructure was fairly secure. And as you can see here, with 13% compliance score, they were really not as secure as they thought that they were. So how did the partner solve these challenges? What do they do? Right. Uh, you know, so the partner already had an existing compliance solution. And by working with us, uh, they were able to augment with uh, that existing solution with Azure Arc to gain uh, more capability and obviously reach into the customer infrastructure on premises as well. From there, they were able to onboard those on premises servers to Azure Arc and then really apply the built in HIPAA High Trust 9.2 blueprint for assessing those HIPAA controls. This gave the customer the centralized visibility that they were looking for in context of the compliance audit that they were prepping for. So so that's great, Ali, and it clearly helped the customer with their problem. But I'm also interested to know, did it help the partner be more profitable? and, And if so, how? Yeah, absolutely, Chris, right? And and this is exactly how, right? So for us, is obviously the professional services component of uh, the, the 300 hours of SOW that the partner was able to sign for the customer and really bring in the compliance dashboard along with Azure onboarding the Azure Arc servers, as I talked about. This opportunity would not have been possible had it not been for the Arc's ability to bring these value-add services like the compliance dashboard and Azure policies down to on-premises. The second component is the the technical skilling that was really not required here, right? Because the partner already utilized the existing technical chops that they had by working with Azure ARM API, as well as Azure policies, the built-in policies, the built-in HIPAA specific policy that they were able to utilize, again, with, with really minimal additional investment and take on this opportunity that otherwise would not have been available, as well as a partner not be able to execute. Thanks, Ali. I think that's a great example. Now, let's move to our next one, which is an insurance company. So what was the situation here? So here, uh, you know, we had a customer that was not only looking for the compliance view, but actually wanted a fully secure infrastructure across on-premises as well as Azure. They were really looking for a high trust and PCI compliance framework since they were operating, obviously, within the insurance vertical. Again, here, they did not really have a centralized operations team to manage these hybrid workloads. They had very minimal knowledge of some of the SIM tools out there and were just starting to get used to some of the Azure security tool set. Got it. So I see a sort of complex situation of compliance, security, remediation. How did the partner address this? partner did not have to reinvent the wheel, right? They already had a security solution and all they were able to do is augment it with Azure Arc to apply the enterprise security framework, which now scoped to resources outside of Azure, right? And from there, they were able to onboard all of these services to Azure Arc, the services scoped to application servers, Kubernetes environments, and even data workloads. And from there, they were able to apply the high trust and PCI blueprint for all the resources deployed to both on-premises as well as Azure and determine a compliance state. Once they were able to do that, they then applied the remediation on all the non-compliant workloads. And as you can see here, they had a fairly low secure score early on. And by the time we were done, they were well above 90%. No, that's excellent, Ali. Um, Like before, can you talk to how this approach helps the partner be more profitable? Right. Uh, you know, again, there's the obviously there's the professional services component here as well. But what's additionally important here is with Azure Arc, they were able to take the solution and this use case to other customers that uh, required a similar solution and were looking for secure environments through Lighthouse as well. They had a more capable solution that they can now scale out to more of their customers by utilizing this existing uh, opportunity and solution. And the second component is the technology that the partner is using is Azure Sentinel, Azure Security Center, and Azure Policy, right? So there isn't a huge lift in terms of technical capability that the partner had to invest in. They were able to use their existing skill sets and and take on this opportunity as well. Great. Thanks, Ali. And I'm I'm definitely seeing sort of some common threads across these. Um, Let's move to a manufacturing customer. So the challenge here is update and change management, I think. Can you expand on that a bit for us, Ali? Yeah, sure. Uh, You know, we we see this use case uh, with a lot of our customers, right? These are customers that have gone through a cloud native journey, uh, digital transformation in some parts of their workload, and they have existing 
workloads that they have to manage for their on-premise promises environments as well as in, in Azure. So now they have two different tool sets as well as processes around those tool sets to uh, config manage those servers. Here we had a customer that had 300 servers on-premises and they wanted a unified patch management solution. And they didn't really, again, have a lot of experience managing across environments as well as across Linux and, and Windows with, with this specific customer as well. How did the partner address this? The partner came in here and first onboarded all of those servers uh, using Azure Arc as well. And from there, you know, once you onboard Azure Arc using the update management value as service, by lighting that up, the partner was able to give the customer that centralized visibility across both Linux, Windows, as well as Azure and on-premises servers that the customer was looking for. Moreover, the customer was able to then verify these updates of servers and get an overall you know, patch health report on a weekly basis. That was part of the requirement for this customer. Ali, how would the partner have done this without using Lighthouse and Arc? I, I take it it's easier if you use these technologies, right? Right. There absolutely is a way of doing centralized patch management without Azure Arc, but that generally requires technologies that need a on-premises dedicated infrastructure as a tool set, not to mention the additional licensing cost that comes with it. On top of that, these systems are not the most cost-effective way of running patch management for Azure, for example. So now, you know, with Azure Arc, which is an agent-based technology at heart, there really isn't a necessity for the customer to run dedicated infrastructure for these tools. For or config management, whereby Azure Arc, the partner with the solution, was able to provide a value add while not dictating that additional investment from the customer. Got it. Thanks, Ali. Okay, let's move to our next case. So in this example, Ali, uh, what is the customer problem or opportunity? This is an interesting one. It comes from a requirement from OPAD, uh, which is an energy company out of Turkey, to run PII data locally within Turkey. This customer was running a large number of SQL servers right alongside uh, application servers that needed to be managed from a single control plane. So how did Coke work to solve this for the customer? Coke Systems came in and deployed Azure Arc to all the workloads, onboarded them to Azure Arc for SQL servers to gain better visibility of data workloads across platforms. Now, with this better visibility, the customer was able to chart out a path to data modernization potentially for the workloads that were running on-premise. And this gave the customer the option of running Azure Arc enabled data services and specifically SQL managed instance, which obviously provides a better management experience as well as an SLA along with the underlying DB engine that the customer was looking for. So Ali, do you think this is something Coke is able to replicate and benefit from in multiple customers? Absolutely. Coke is a major partner in MIA with many customers that could benefit from this exact solution. And the most optimal way Coke can take the solution to market is to use Azure Lighthouse to not only deploy, but manage these solutions going forward. Azure Lighthouse provides obviously the most secure security model for partners to utilize for at scale customer deployments. And with Azure Arc, the scope to infrastructure beyond Azure proper as well. So Coke Systems did that exactly here and took the solution to the larger customer base of theirs. So Ali, I want to move to Fujitsu, who's adding Arc to Lighthouse. Can you tell us a little bit more as to what Fujitsu are doing and why? Fujitsu saw this opportunity early on, and they being a managed service provider, they have taken the Arc technologies and augmented their existing solutions capabilities with Azure Arc. And they were very prevalently using Azure Lighthouse already. So now they have uh, really extended the reach and capability of all their existing solutions by utilizing Azure Arc and Lighthouse to the benefit of all their customers. Thanks, Ali. Uh, I think it's a great example, I think, of how partners can benefit from Lighthouse and Arc. So let's recap the opportunity here. So I wanted to summarize some of the benefits here. So reducing the number of tools and processes and being able to reduce those silos of knowledge and skills is it's just critical for any partner to become more agile and cost effective. By extending the reach of your cloud practice, you increase the total addressable market you can drive revenue from. I think that's pretty clear. And then increasing Azure consumed revenue. Now, 
Because with Arc, we're able to attach other Azure services, we can grow Azure consumed revenue. Now, clearly that's good for Microsoft, but it's important also for our partners for, for really three reasons. I mean, partners do get a percentage of the ACR they impact, so that's important. But Microsoft uses partner influence on ACR to really understand which partners are having the most impact on our business. So that's important. And then finally, to engage with our Microsoft field sales organization and co-sell, it really helps partners if they can help the sales team understand how their solution will impact the ACR of the customer because it's important to the sales team. So your success with hybrid leveraging Arc and Lighthouse is mutually beneficial. And to that end, our marketing teams have created scale marketing campaigns and tools. So launching at Inspire is an all new partner go to market portal for sales and marketing materials. Here you'll find all new decks and content as well as a 12 week marketing campaign in a box for you to drive demand for your Azure Arc solutions. We give you the collateral, the social copy, the sales guides, all go to market assets you need to jumpstart your hybrid business. You can access it through the Microsoft Partner Network at partner.microsoft.com. So thank you for listening to the session. I hope it encourages you to think about uh, how Arc and Lighthouse can help you become more profitable and meet the hybrid needs of your customers. Some key things to consider after Inspire has concluded are the learning paths we have for Arc and Lighthouse, access the sales and marketing materials I mentioned previously, and please ensure you have a solution entered and tagged correctly for hybrid in Partner Center, as this is used to get your offering in front of our customers and our sales teams. Last but not least, as you develop your experience with Arc and HCI, consider taking one or both of the new advanced specializations we've just launched. Hybrid cloud infrastructure with Microsoft Azure Stack HCI advanced specialization and the hybrid operations and management with Microsoft Azure Arc advanced specialization. These are great ways to differentiate your organization with skills specific to Arc and HCI. So I want to thank you for listening to this session and Ali for joining me and providing so many valuable insights to the examples we covered today. Thank you again for listening and have a great Inspire.